Hi everyone! Welcome back to my YouTube channel, Aisha Loves Makeup. Guys, your girl was terrible. She was shopping. Black Friday, I literally, I guess maybe that's why they call it Black Friday because whew, your girl literally blacked out. <laughs> And I was just clicking away buying so much stuff. All the boxes you see in my thumbnail, or all, all makeup boxes. Your girl went ham. Like the song. We about to go ham. <laughs> Your girl went ham. So I'm gonna show you all of the makeup I bought uh, for Black Friday. And uh, I'm disappointed in myself. Cause your girl don't need no makeup. No makeup but all my boxes is all beauty content related so if you guys want to see what i purchased for black friday i had to wait for this video because i wanted to make sure i got all my boxes before i filmed so some stuff i did use just because i mean i, I had to try this stuff out i couldn't wait until all the boxes came i didn't get to use everything yet but um now that everything's here i can't wait to film this so i can start playing with my new makeup goodies so as always if you guys want to know what I got in all of my makeup boxes, uh, then you guys know what to do. Ooh, ah, 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 ah. videos I have on the Grinch shirt because your girl loves the Grinch I love the Grinch movie but I'm not a Grinch I really do love Christmas it really is my most favorite holiday ever so I'm like let me take a break from my Grinch shirts I have a lot more though so uh don't think this is that was this is gonna be my last Grinch shirt that you guys saw in my last video but I'm like let me just be a little non-grinchy so I got my Merry Christmas t-shirt on obviously it's not christmas yet but like i'm like l let me you know let me not seem too grinchy so tis the season so i got my merry christmas shirt on but the grinch shirts are coming back because your girl loves a grinch and i have like 20 grinch shirts so i mean i have to wear them and show them off i mean come on now so um i'm super excited to dig into these boxes it is nothing like having a package and you can't really like I um, tried on one of the palettes, but I was just trying to use it very lightly because I'm like, I want to show it to you guys as if it's brand new. I don't want to use it. So now I can really dig into my eyeshadow palettes that I bought and really play with them. So I need to get these videos out and going because I'm super excited for all the stuff that I purchased. So we're going to get right into the video. Alrighty. So we're going to start doing some unboxings, but as always, before I truly deep dive into any video, I always introduce myself to anyone new to my channel because I am still a new YouTuber on YouTube. So, hi, welcome. My name is Aisha. I love makeup, hence all these makeup videos on my channel. I love makeup. I love skincare. I love hair products. I love perfumes. I'm the biggest girly girl out there. And, um... I'm sharing my love for beauty products with you guys. That's why I started my channel. Because regardless if I had a channel or not, I'm buying all this stuff. I might as well share it with my lovely viewers. Um, because some people like watching videos like this. I know I enjoy watching videos like this, which is why I started my channel. And I appreciate the love and the support. I mean, I got 2,000, over 2,000 subscribers. I think I have 2,035 currently at the moment. So thank you guys so much for watching. Now we gotta go to the next milestone, 3,000. We going strong. Next giveaway will be for 3,000 subscribers. I just had my giveaway for 2,000 subscribers. Thank you guys so much for your love. Thank you for your support. And if you are subscribed, make sure you like, comment, subscribe to your girl's channel. We're gonna have a lot of new fun content on the channel. So I'm finally, I can't believe I'm gonna say this. I'm nervous, but I'm finally gonna be starting to show you guys you know, snippets of my beauty room. I get nervous showing, like, things about my personal life because 
I feel like people get jealous and I, I'm not here for the jealousy. I'm just here to show my love for beauty products. But like, you know, when people start to see stuff with their personal life, they get jealous. Oh, why does she have so much makeup? Why does she have so much this? Why does she have so I mean, I'm a girly girl. I'm going to have a lot of bags. I'm going to have a lot of jewelry. I'm going to have a lot of makeup. I mean, it comes along with being a girly girl. But the purpose of me sharing my videos with you guys is not to brag. It's just... People like watching those videos. I love watching makeup organization videos and jewelry makeup ship like jewelry organization videos. But it's like if you guys start attacking it, why do you have so much of this? And blah, 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 I'm gonna pull back and then I'm gonna stick to my unboxings. So please be nice when I start showing you guys a part of my world. The more nice you guys are, the more comfortable I will be with showing you things outside of this realm. I. I I want to show you guys everything about me, but like I said, I'm nervous because I've seen other people post videos of what I want to show, and it's just people who negative. Oh, what? you don't need that many moisturizers. Why do you have that much makeup? And it's just like, I'm like, I, I, can't, I can't take the negativity. This is a positive channel. So please be nice and um, stay tuned for some fun videos outside of unboxing. I'm going to show you guys how I organize my makeup parts of my beauty room eventually maybe i'll show you guys fashion i have like a whole wall that's like full of clothes and like my whole sneaker wall like i can show you guys these things if you guys are nice so stay tuned for that and we're gonna get right into the video Alrighty, guys so for time purposes i'm not gonna get into the prices of everything because i have a lot a lot a lot of boxes to go through i'm just gonna show you guys what i bought if you guys want to know the prices and stuff like that, you guys can always research that stuff for yourself. I just want to show you guys what I got. Super excited. Grab a snack, guys, and come on back because it's going to be a while. Like I said, I got a lot of boxes of makeup and goodies that I want to share with you guys. All of this stuff was purchased except for one um, thing I got from PR, which I'll let you guys know what I got from PR. So um, let's get in. Alrighty, so the first thing I want to show you guys is what I'm most excited about, and that is my P. Louise package. Woo woo! So, as you guys know, I do the P. Louise subscription boxes on my channel. I just started uh, subscribing to P. Louise, and I fell in love with her products. It's so pigmented, it's such like luxe true makeup artist quality makeup so and i've learned that from just you know doing the few subscription boxes i've done on my channel so i'm like black friday they had a haul i went to all my sites that i love and i was seeing what their deals were and p louise had an amazing deal i don't know how much everything was because i kind of like i said i blacked out and i just started clicking clicking i didn't the basket buying but um that does not really matter when you want something like it's like you gotta get it so i got all these cool stuff and um i'm super excited to show you guys what i got so we're gonna deep dive in this is my favorite one out of all of them but i mean everything gets equal love here on the channel so let's dig in so all of her products for the most part comes in boxes but for time purposes, like I said, because I have so many boxes to go through, I took everything out of the boxes. But P. Louise, she's all about like luxury, kind of like Jeffree Star. I feel like they're very similar. Like they put so much thought and effort into their packaging and I truly appreciate it. But like I said, for time purposes, we took everything out the box. So um, let's just go into it. How pretty, guys! Look at this! This is the P. Louise AM to PM palette. Alrighty, so we're going to dig in. All of her palettes for the most part has mirrors, but I'm just going to fold them because um, I don't want to the reflection in the camera. But guys, look at this palette. Oh! So I haven't tried this one yet. Like I said, I didn't want to use it uh, almost all my stuff because like, I want it to be like brand new for you guys. But guys... I love it. I love it. These are huge. Like, look at this. It's the size of my, like, bigger than the size of my face. Like, these are huge, huge palettes. So, um, some people are saying they don't like them because it's like when you're doing your gigs, it's too big. But I don't care. I would carry a big old palette just like this to a gig. Like, ain't no shame in my game. 
This one went viral on TikTok. This is the Bridal Series palette. And uh, it's all like neutral shades. I see Michaela talk a lot about it. So I was like, your girl gotta get it. I mean, if she says it, then we gotta get it, clearly, right? These are all earth tones. Look at this palette and it's huge. And like I said, her palettes are so pigmented. It's such good quality. I haven't tried this palette yet either. Um, I'm just super excited to try this stuff out now and really like dig in to the products. But this palette supposedly is like really good for like weddings. This is supposed to be good for like every day. And these are the shades that I do every day. So your girl's definitely gonna get out of use out of this palette. And they're both big. I figured, like I said, me doing my side gigs is not like my, you know, my gig that I do every day as a living. I do have like my typical nine to five job that I do, you know, full time. But every now and then I do do side jobs here and there. I still have a lot of my clients who, I mean, I've been using for years and they just like, Aisha, you can't just stop doing my makeup. So I still do them, but like, I don't do a lot. But when I do, you know you guys gonna get the, the good stuff. You guys gonna get the good stuff. So very excited for this. I think this will be like um, for my kit. I just knocked myself out. For my kit. So very excited for this. Alrighty, the next thing I got is the Timeless Treasures palette. Guys, let's take a second to go into this packaging. Like this looks like a jewelry box. Like it's so... Her packaging is so pretty. I mean, it is like bulky, not the normal size of palettes that you normally get. I feel like that's why I compare her stuff a lot to Jeffree Star because it's like his packaging is not like the conventional package size. A lot of his packages is like like the True Blood palette, the Blue Blood palette, like all of those palettes. Uh, they like you know like some kind of something like this, similar, not the same exact thing. But um, who cares, right? As long as the stuff inside is great. So this was another neutral palette. Now I did get the, what do you call this one? The Wedding, the Bridal, the Bridal Series Wedding XL palette. But this palette was so cute too, as far as like neutral shades. So I had to get it. They have like a bottom drawer down here, which is that, right? And then they got a top part as well. Let me just put that back in. This is the top part, which is cute. It says like P. Louise on it. And I'm just gonna cover up the mirror. This is what the top part looks like. All neutral eyeshadows. Very, very pretty. I'm super. Like when I say super excited for this, like I'm super excited for this. So I would say those palettes are what I'm the most excited for, but I'm super equally excited about the other stuff I got. So let's get dig into the next box. So what should I do? What should I do? Uh, all right, we just grab the next box. So this is from uh, Manny MUA has his own makeup line called Lunar Beauty. And I really wanted this Moon Prism palette for so long. Well, pretty much if you spent like $20, you'll get, I don't know, if you spend like, what was it? I forgot what it was, but like, if you spend this much, you get this much. If you spend that much, you get this much. You get like 15, 20, I think 30% off. Um, I think I got like 25% off my purchases based on what I spent. So I got, this was the box. The box looks pretty much identical to the actual palette. I got the Nude Prism. I've seen so many beautiful looks with this palette. I had to get it. I had to get Look at this palette, guys. I'm super excited about like this roll right here because you guys know I'm all about like the metallics and the sparkle. So I'm super excited for this palette here. Very excited. So that's that. I do own a, a couple of his palettes and a, a couple of his things because I've done one of his mystery boxes before. So I am familiar with his stuff and I do like it. So very excited for that. I also want to try out his powder because a lot of people were raving about it. It's the Luna Versal. Luna Reversal? I can't pronounce what, what this says. Setting powder in translucent medium. This one's like more like a yellowish color. 
which is good for my skin tone. He has like a translucent and then it's like a darker shade. I got the middle one. The box was cute. Now the P. Louise boxes I threw out, but I just, some of the boxes from like some of these stuff, I thought was cute. So I just wanted to show you the box. Like there was like a little moon on his little box. So super excited to finally like get into this stuff. I did try the loose powder. I didn't get a chance to try this palette yet though. It has not been touched. Like I said, I tried some of the stuff, but not all. Like, I can't wait, guys. I mean, I got some of this stuff last week. I wasn't going to wait this long. But um, now I'm diving in. I'm about to go ham. Okay, I feel like this box kind of goes hand in hand with, like, the Luna Beauty Cosmetics. Manny MUA's best friend, her name is Laura Lee. She has her own makeup line as well. And I heard a lot of good things about her palettes. They're always sold out, but... I'm like, let me try some of her stuff out too. Since they had their sale for Black Friday too. So, so like I said, I took a lot of the stuff out the boxes. But um, I still kind of kept some of them so you guys can see what it looks like. And for time purposes, I don't have to sit here wasting time opening up, up boxes. So I wanted her Nudie Patootie original palette. But it's always sold out. I can never, every time I go on her website, it's always sold out. Like, uh, I'm at the point where I'm going to give up with that palette. But... They did have the Nudie, uh, Nudie Patootie palette number two. So the first one I heard was really, really good. But I got the second one. These are the colors. Hey, guys, look how pretty. If I ever look this way, I'm just looking at the monitor to see if everything's in frame. But this palette looks beautiful. I cannot wait to try this palette. Oh, I have, I, I think, did, did I try this one? I didn't think, I, I don't, I didn't get a chance to try this one yet. So, um, very excited for this palette. Now, I got the full fantasy palette. So this is actually a collaboration with Manu MUA and Laura Lee. I'm super excited to try this out. The palette is called Full Fantasy. They have a podcast called Full, Fan full Fantasy. So that's hence the name of the palette. But this palette is beautiful. I Did I try this? I think I just did a couple of swatches, but I don't think I tried it yet. Look how pretty, guys. Look. Do you guys see that? Like, look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Super excited. Yeah, no, I don't think I tried. I didn't try this palette out yet. Everything is still brand new. This is the box that it came in. Pretty much the boxes. Their boxes all look the same. They sell the Full Fantasy on Laura Lee's uh, makeup uh, page and they do sell it on Manuay's uh, makeup page too. You can buy them from either website. So very happy for that. Then I heard a lot about the Whimsical Nudes palette too. Whimsical Nudes, sorry. I didn't get to try this yet either. I'm super excited. Like my makeup game is about to be on point. Coming up this week, girlfriend. So I got that. Woo -woo! Super excited for this. I heard a lot of good things about this palette too. So at least I got to try stuff out. And then I heard this went viral. So I want to try this color out. It's the Laura Lee Los Angeles Liquid Lipstick. Because I've never tried any of her liquid lipsticks. This color is called a Jaybird. So very pretty very pretty shade for me and I'll probably pair it with like a brown lip liner very pretty so super excited to try out all of this stuff here got three palettes from her and a lip that can go with any of these palettes so super excited for that I did also purchase some fragrances so I always want to try the Glossier um, perfume but I never smelt it and I blind bought it and I don't know if that was a good idea because I don't know how much how I feel about it but during Black Friday their stuff was 20% off which wasn't really a deal because right now Sephora has 20% off all their items so I didn't have to get this during Black Friday. Nevertheless, I did get it. They do sell this in Sephora. So um, I got the perfume and I got the, the solid perfume. I did take it out the packaging and everything because I want to smell it to see if I liked it. I don't know how I feel about it. I feel like I'm a little disappointed in it. But uh, I'm going to go through it again with you guys. So this is the perfume. Right? And this is the solid perfume. 
So the reason why it's called Glossier You is because it's supposed to smell like like you, your signature scent. Like it's supposed to smell different on everybody. It's supposed to smell like your your go with your body chemistry. So if you don't like it, and somebody else may like it because it smells different on them. I am a very girly girl. So I like very sweet, very floral. I love gourmands, things that smell like like desserts, vanilla, pistachio, you know, cherry, apple. I'm all about like scents like that. This one they said that it smelled a little woody, woodsy, but also has like a floral. So I was like, well, maybe the floral part I will like of it, but it smells more woodsy to me. I'm gonna spray it again. I don't have any cologne, uh, perfume on now. I smell like the woodsy in it, which I'm not a woodsy perfume type of a person. I wore this once. Uh, I didn't get no compliments from it because people were like, Oh my gosh, if you wear this, people are going to stop you because it smells so good. Ah, 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 ah. Didn't get that. But I haven't worn this enough to know if, you know, I've only worn it to work. I haven't worn it out. So I'll try it a couple more times, but... I'm not loving it. I'm not loving it. And then this is the solid. They had the solid version of this, which um, I never smell it. Like I put the solid perfume on first and I put this on top, supposed to make it last longer. But when I put the solid on, I don't smell it. So I don't know. That's why guys, you can't always go off by TikTok when everybody says something smells good because you know, A, everything smells different on everybody's body chemistry. Be, you know, half of the times they be lying. Let's be honest. They be lying. Y'all be lying. And I always fall in the trap. But um, I'm going to wear it a couple more times and see. I'm not, I don't know. This actually reminds me of, you know what this could be the dupe for? Um, It reminds me of the smell. Uh, Juliet has a gun, not a perfume. It's giving me those type of vibes. If you want to know what this smells like, it smells almost identical to that. So I got that. And then you guys know I've been into Arabian perfume. I have this, I've had this one already. And I did a whole thing with the whole, my Arabian perfumes that I bought. But I heard that the yellow one smelled kind of pineapple-y. So I did buy this during Black Friday. It wasn't any deal or nothing, but I, I just another thing that I bought. And uh this one's supposed to smell like pineapple pineapple coconutty, which I love. See, I like stuff like this. This smells great. I can smell the pineapples. I can smell the coconuts. Like, I love, 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 love this. So this is pineapple, pineapple coconut. This one is like, like sweet. This is like more like candy, like sweet candy. And co so now I got two. Now there's a white one too. And I'm like, should I buy it? Because these perfumes are like, this is a 100 ml and I think they're like $23. So not bad, but they don't last too long. But I mean, I do like them. So should I get the white one? I don't know. I heard that one's like the floral one. This is the sweet one. This is like the coconutty pineapple one. And the other one's supposed to be like a floral one, the white one. What is the matter with me, guys? I can't control myself. I just, I can't control myself. These are all blind buys, but that I go based on people, what they say they like on TikTok. So I have more boxes here, but I just want to show you guys something that I got for free. If it's for free, it's for me. I got more. Marin was one of the first beauty brands that sent me PR, which I'm super grateful for. Um, I don't know if you guys remember, like a year ago, Marin sent me PR, and I had posted that on my channel. And they sent me more stuff. I love Merit. Like, I would never um, ask for more stuff. Like they, You get to pick what I want, so these are things that I personally picked from them, but I would never get more stuff from them if I didn't like the stuff the first time around but I actually really do like this stuff so they sent me a whole bunch of goodies so I'm gonna show you guys what Merit sent whenever you buy stuff they give you this free bag like your first purchase you get a free little Merit bag so now I have two of them very cute everything I've gotten from Merit like I like it it's like a minimalist makeup line very clean very chic it's giving you very natural neutral looks so the first thing I received was the Day Glow Highlighter, which is really pretty. 
I got it in the color Citrine because it's like a nice goldy color. Hold on, I got perfume in the back of my hand. Let me just wipe it off. So it's like a goldy bronzy shade, which is pretty, that you can just put on like on your cheeks for like a nice little glow. Very pretty. The next thing I got is, and like I said, I picked all of these shades uh, catering to my skin tone, but they have tons of shades. I also chose Let's Do. I hope I said that right. It is a lip gloss. Look how pretty this gloss is. The glosses are so juicy. So to say, that's what the gloss looks like. It's clear, but it's giving you like lip, it's, a, it's not even really gloss. I think these are lip oils, if I'm correct. Yeah, these are lip oils. Very, very pretty, very pretty. This one is my favorite one. I also have another one that's like, um, it gives a little bit more color, but it's just more the clearer ones. The next thing I got is, I actually have on one of the Merit blushes today. This one is a more plum one. I forgot the color that I have one today. Um, this one is a darker shade, but they're nice. They're like sheer medium coverage. This color is called Raspberry Barrette. So it's like more of a plum. The one I have more is like more like a pinky. And then I put like a highlighter on top. Very pretty though. And I love the packaging of the gold. Very bougie and chic. The next thing I got is a lipstick. The shade I chose was Fashion. Fashion. And I love like a plum color for winter time, like a nice little plum color. It's gonna go very pretty with my plum blush. The other shade that I have from Mary is like a brown one. I don't remember the, the name of it, but I like their products. Like they're nice everyday products and like, like I said, the packaging are so, look how cute. How stinking cute are the packaging? So these were sent from Merit. I do have a code with Merit. So if you guys ever buy any Merit stuff, think of your girl. I have a link down in the description. If you guys ever buy anything, I'll get a little percentage, a little quaint. If you guys do buy anything from Merit, use my code. Or if you don't have to, if you don't want to. But, I mean, if you do get it and you like my channel and you like me, use my link. You know what I'm saying? You see that little plug there? All right, nevertheless, let's get back into the rest of my haul. But yes, I really, truly appreciate Merit because, like I said, like, one of the first people to ever give me PR. Like, Ipsy gives me PR, but, like, they were, like, one of the first that had faith in me and gave me stuff, and I really appreciate it. And I really love the stuff. The stuff is great. So, thank you, Merit. Alrighty, so the next package I got here is from... The brand Lit Cosmetics. So I will be honest, I have never heard of Lit Cosmetics before. But I watched a video Michaela was doing. And she was doing her makeup of products she never heard before. So she apparently didn't have heard of this line either. But um, when she put the shadow on, it looked so beautiful. I was like sold. As soon as she that video, I finished watching that video. I went to Lit Cosmetics and I bought a whole bunch of the products blind by. And I did try this out. And I liked it. So I will say, which was really sweet, they actually wrote like a handmade card, which is they're obviously an indie brand, because if it was like a big company, they wouldn't have time to do like cute little stuff like this. But they wrote a handmade card with my name on the thing and everything. I thought that was really cute. And in my invoice, they had put like glitter inside the invoice, which was cute as well. But um, pretty much Michaela had tried on like their glitter eyeshadows. They come like so. So it's an actual like, I don't want to spill them because I did. Oh, oh my God. <gasps> I just spilled on half of my glitter trying to show you guys. Oh no, there's glitter everywhere. Hold on a second. I'm going to wipe some up off the floor to show you guys, but I ain't opening the other ones. Because I have glitter everywhere. But hold on a second. Guys, can you see this? I don't know if I can come closer so you guys can see the sparkle. Maybe I'll put it on the back of my hand. So you guys can see. There you go. I got sparkle all over my hands. I don't know if you guys are going to be able to see this. I totally just, that, that wasn't smart. I opened it and poured it out. Like That was not smart. I got a bronze color called Shine Like It Does. I got a pinky champagne color. Can you guys see? I don't know if you guys are going to be able to see it. There's glitter all over. I got to wash my hands. 
glitter all over my hands. Let me see something if I could do one of these. Can you guys see? I'll put some on my eyes so you guys can see in a second, but I got four shades here and I tried them and I did like it. I also bought like they have like um a thing you can use to apply it, like to make it wet so it sticks. It says it's a daily glitter, daily wear glitter base. And then it came with these two little brush things to apply it with. But I also myself bought like this is a flat liner duo. I guess if you're doing like a cut crease, you can use this brush. This is what the brush looks like. Very nice. Um, I'm going to show you guys. I'm just going to pat it on top of my shadow that I have. Now I'll use a one that's spilt. It's so pretty. I can't believe I just like dropped like half of that out. I'm very sad about that. But uh, I'm going to show you guys how pretty it is. Hold on a second. Let me put a little bit on. This kind of doesn't go with the look that I'm doing today, but I'm just going to put a little on top. And hopefully you guys can see. Now I usually have a base on. Oh my gosh, I forgot to show you guys the bases that I bought from P. Louise. Speaking of bases, I just had them on the table. I bought two bases. These bases are really popular from P. Louise. I have like the OG ones, the older ones. These are like the newer ones. I bought P. Louise base in five. Room of five and room of four. They have it like one through, I don't know, nine, ten, I don't know. But I got four and five. And they're all like different shades from light to dark. So obviously the four is lighter, the five is a little bit darker. Um, I'm so glad I was talking about bases because I would have forgot to show you guys these from P. Louise. So these are going to make my palette that I bought very um, potent. And yeah, so you're supposed to like wet your, your, your brush hair over here. And apply the, the product. So right now I have it on. Let me see. Let me take a look. But when you use a base, it's supposed to go on so much more nicer. So let's put it on with the base now so you can see the difference. I just did it blindly, but now this is with the base. Ooh, 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 ooh. Look at that, guys. Look at that. Very, very pretty. So I'm going to put it all over my eyeshadow. Yeah, the base is where it's at, though. Get that base if you get it, because it makes everything stick. Can you guys see? Can you see? Super excited, super excited for this. I'm just rushing, because your girl um, is about to go out. But... Um, that is everything. That is my whole haul, guys. Don't let me buy nothing else. Like, I didn't need any of this stuff that I bought. I mean, but do we ever need any makeup that we buy? I don't think so. But nevertheless, I'm one happy girl. You're going to see my face beat with all my new makeup. And like I said, there's going to be new content on the channel because I'm going to be showing you guys now. In this month, uh, bits and pieces of my collection. How I, I finally, finally finished all my add-ons to my beauty room because I bought another um, pack system. I had one. Now I have two. Um, that was a pretty penny. And I also uh, I have like the Alex drawers too and I have my vanity impression. So I have makeup everywhere. So we'll go into that and show you like how I organize my makeup impressions vanity for every single day. My makeup and then you know we're going to go through everything. We'll go through everything. So stay tuned for the new content on the channel we're still gonna do unboxings though because you guys know i'm still gonna be buying um but we'll do some haul like shopping haul videos with me you guys can come along with me for the ride we're gonna switch it up a little bit we're gonna we're gonna get personal but be nice please be nice and you guys know i love and miss you guys as always make sure you guys hit that like button make sure you subscribe show some love to the channel get me to 3000 i appreciate everybody who's been subscribing and i'll see you guys all in my next video Bye!